Okay, let me back up because I ran out of the tape here. Uh, this is going to come down and around, all right, up to here. And then we're going to have this kind of follow that a little bit. All right. So there is the middle right here. So we're going to have to put his mouth in there somewhere. And then this is just like the regular... Um, okay. There we go. That's the look I want. Yep. All right. So I'm going to trim this down a little bit more. All right. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Put my lines back in. Okay, and have the point going at the top there. Now this is going to come down a little further. All right. And this is also the windy look. So what's going to happen here is we're going to, um, this is still going to be part of the beard, so we're going to kind of separate this from the body here on the back side of this. I'll show you that in just a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow, okay, let me finish this up here. This is going to come down and around, okay, because it's windy. That's the windy look. We have this all going in that direction and up here. So all this is going to go in this direction. Okay. Now we need to put a a his beard goes up there a little bit. So let's do that, and we'll come down. Ah, that's kind of low there, but let's try that. Bring this up a little further. That's a little bit too low there. Let's bring this up a tad. Alright. And then we're going to try to match it the same side. So technically, um, I didn't do that right. Let me think here. How did I do that one? <laughs> Sometimes I have to go by other stuff that I see. Okay, got it. Sorry about that, folks. This will be the windy part. I'm sorry. This will be his... his. There's no separation from the beard because it's blowing up above that. So, uh, all right. That's roughly what I want it to look like. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this portion right here. Okay? Bring that up to the nose. Bring this down. From the top, you want to bring that down. Kind of take that little V cut out. Okay? That's the first thing. And we're going to make things deeper. Okay? We're not anywhere near what it should be. And this one is going to come down and around like that. Okay? And that will be part of the separation of the beard and the mustache so and then we're going to follow the mustache all the way around all right all the way around okay i'm going to cut that out okay we're just getting kind of an outline of everything and then we're going to take this and we're going to bring this down and around for the mouth. And you want to go kind of deep there, okay? Same thing here. You're going to go kind of deep. And it's just ever so slightly of a turn there. It's not that much. All right. And this gets a little tricky here because you could really chip that out. So you want to be careful. So we're going to start digging this portion out first where his mouth is going to be. And you're going to, you made this line for the other part of the mustache here. Just want to make sure you reestablish that a little bit. All right, and then you're going to take your knife, point your knife, and you're just going to kind of level that out a little bit. Make a separation. 
Okay, just like so. That's it. And usually, I have the mouth going up a little bit. Okay, a little bit of an angle. And you want to be careful that you don't dig up inside into the mustache. Kind of just get your triangular cut out as as close as you can without overlapping your cut. If it doesn't free the first time out, you keep cutting it a little bit at a time until it until it frees up. All right. Using the point of the knife to dig down in there. Okay, very good. Okay, now we're going to file this out yet. Notice how I'm using my thumb as a, a, as a pivot point to control that knife. Alright, we're going to bring this down a little bit more underneath there. Same thing here, we're going to dig this out right at that corner a little bit. All right. Now again, I'm going to go back and redefine everything. I usually go back and recut stuff deeper, and so we all know where everything is, and you know, the things look things look better when you cut them deeper, folks. Uh, don't be afraid to do that. Um. All right. Now this is going to be kind of hollowed out a little bit. We're going to dig this out a little bit more. Okay. Again, this is going to be kind of rounded off because this is really not the end of it goes up and around. So we really don't need that sticking out like we normally would uh, when it comes to a point, if it, this was it, you'd have this uh, more of a point, but it's not going to be that anyway, so you can chop that off a little bit. Okay, right here is kind of where we're going to round this off just a little bit here. And we're going to scoop this out just a little bit more, give it, give that windy look. We're going to cut this up a little bit more at the top here, underneath the hat. And we're just going to kind of file that out a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. And then we're going to leave that point there. See that little point there? We're going to try to leave that there. Alright, and we're just going to try to scoop it out a little bit. Just like so. That's it. Okay. 